manhunt sparked by multiple incidents here in Mississippi. Alex Deaton still on the run tonight and at the center of two possible murder investigations. Courtney Ann is live in Rankin County with the very latest on the search. Marcia, the very latest information tonight is that the reward for Alex Bridges Deaton and any information leading to his arrest has now been up to $27,500. And this is one case where investigators are asking that this man's photo be shared as much as possible. Something inside him appears to have snapped. Alex Deaton didn't have a criminal history, but that quickly changed over the course of the last few days. Now he's on the run and said to have several handguns with him. You know, not only a threat to the public, but I believe he's a threat to any law enforcement officer that stops him. Investigators say his last known location was in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. He has ties in the area that law enforcement won't yet detail. We want him apprehended. We don't want anyone else hurt. Uh, we don't know the frame of mind that he's in, uh, but we do know that he has killed one person. He has shot a second person. His last contact with anyone? A text to his mom early Saturday. A search warrant was issued for both his apartment in Flowood and his truck. This is his truck that's being processed in Rankin County now. Deaton's charges could be upgraded when his girlfriend Heather Robinson's autopsy is complete. We do know that her cause of death is strangulation. We are awaiting some additional findings from the medical examiner and possibly the state crime laboratory. Uh, based upon that, the charges may be upgraded to capital murder. The Neshoba County Sheriff is still calling Deaton a person of great interest in the murder of Brenda Piner. And the police, for any information about where Deaton may be, continue continue past the boundaries of the Magnolia State. Now, again, it is important that we emphasize that if you happen to see Deaton, that you do not try to approach him. That's one of the things that the sheriff here in Rankin County emphasized this morning. They say that if you see him or if you just might have any information that you call 911 or you call Crime Stoppers. For now, live in Rankin County, Courtney Ann Jackson, three on your side. And continuing our